And a very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's a Wednesday morning and we're talking money matters right now with certified financial planner Grant Van Sale. Good to have the man back in the hot seat again. Um, world economies, South African economies, we're focusing in on the rand, the dollar. Uh, what's, what's happening right now and what do you make of it at the moment? What are your views on the rand dollar exchange rate? Well, if I got a dollar for every time someone asks me that question, <laughs> I would be not sitting here right now. <laughs> So I think I'm, I'm quite bullish, so that means I'm quite in favor of the RAND at the moment, um, and I'm, I'm di diversifying myself into a lot of hard currencies while, I, while the RAND's quite strong. Okay. I think in the short term, it's gonna remain like that because of the back of what's going on in the rest of the world economy, but I'm also a realist. I mean, G the South Africa's GDP in, in the world economy perspective is very small, so if you wanna keep up with the rest of hard currency countries, you obviously, when it comes to the RAND, I think in the long term, it will co continue to depreciate. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of hard currency countries, uh, you think about the UK, the pound, you think Brexit. Is that something that we as South Africans should even be concerned about? Or is it one of those things where, yes, it's news headlines, but whoosh, gone, whatever? Yeah. Well, that's a, actually a really good question. Remember, the UK is a powerhouse when it comes to finances. Um, and there's so much uncertainty when it comes to a divorce. And remember, we're the kids in this situation. So... It's a terrible family we're in. Yeah, <laughs> so whenever there's a divorce, kids get affected most probably the most in this situation. Yeah. However, I think we're quite far enough from the situation not to really get affected too much. I think the, the EU Union and the UK, there's a lot of uncertainty there. When it comes to the pound, I think the pound is going to be very volatile in the next two to three years while they're figuring this, this, this divorce out. What does it mean, you know, at the end of the day? And so... I also think that the pound has kind of hit its, its all-time lows. Yeah. It's like 31 <laughs> years low. So I don't think it's going to be dropping much more. I think it's kind of stabilizing out a little bit, yeah. I was about to ask, when you talk about a divorce, a lot of money flows out, usually in payment of legal fees and uh, taxes and so on. So are we looking at a possible recession for, for the UK, possibly? Well, it's a very good question. So let's define recession first. So a recession is when the economy has two consecutive quarters that have negative growth. Yeah. Now, the, the, the UK is still a strong economy. Um, I don't think they will go into recession grounds. If we look at South Africa, um, we, in the first quarter of 2015, we were in the positive. The second quarter, we were in negative territory. The third and fourth quarter of 2015, we were in positive, but just, you know, like by the skin of our teeth. Mm -hmm. Come 2016, the first quarter, we had really bad results, um, and that was on the back of the, the Nene debacle and all that sort of stuff. But the second quarter of 2016 in South Africa, we've had great results, you yeah. know? So that, that's really been our saving grace at okay. the end of the day. So well, I don't think South Africa will go into recession, but the UK, I don't know, it's, a, it's a very touch and go there at the moment. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a final question. It's a yes or no question. Um, with the RAND as it is right now, and the situation with the Minister of Finance, should we be worried about the RAND? Yes or no? Yes and no. <laughs> oh, caught up in the middle of that one. But we will leave it at that, sir. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to have you yeah. here with us. Certified financial planner, Grant Fonsale. Ending us with a yes and no.